calculus and machine learning. Yes. Uh, it's like uh, we are trying to uh, push calculus in a uh, machine learning. So uh, generally when we, what is miss? Generally when we uh, talk about calculus, then the main thing we see is the function. Means we differentiate the function or if I have a differentiated function, then we get it back by the integration. So differentiation uh, is nothing but uh, uh, it's a kind of uh, repeated subtraction, repeated division, whereas integration is nothing but repeated addition. So how means how they are related? Like uh, if we see the machine learning, then it is a kind of uh, uh, it has samples and each sample has features and any feature or combination of feature becomes the target class. So that is the kind of uh, uh, dissociation of uh, machine learning, I mean, that is the architecture of machine learning. Whereas when we see the calculus, then we see it's a function and there is an independent variable like fx. So where x is the independent variable and whatever fx we get, sometimes we say y. Uh, fx is nothing but y. So fx uh, is a kind of a function uh, where the independent variable is x. Okay, so mapping is if there is only x, then it is a single feature uh, data set. So that is the mapping between the calculus and data set. So if calculus the in number of the independent variable is 1, then that directly maps to uh, then a single feature data set. So that is the relationship. Now in calculus it is called singular. Okay. So if there is only one independent variable x, then it is a singular way, singular calculus. If there are more than one independent variable like uh, x and y, then it is multivariate multivariate calculus. So that is multi-feature machine learning or data science or artificial intelligence, whatever. So this is the mapping we see. Now it comes like uh, when we have, like I have a, a multivariate function, a function that is independent variable as x and y, then we can, in dimension, we can think that it leads to z axis. So z axis is has the value that is kind of uh, uh, it has it is in function of x and y. So that is uh, like in machine learning it has two features. It's a dual feature. Now now we, when I come back to a calculus and if I have a, a vector, if I have a vector and I mean slowly I am moving in the calculus area. So in a multivariate in multivariate calculus where I have two variables so x and y then I can say it's a 2D vector if it is a singular variable it is a single vector like it is only in x direction so 1D vector now I have 2D vector okay so if I have a 2D vector means uh, it is a multivariate function then if it is a 1D vector then uh, the kind of the mathematics is in uh, single dimension. So it's a line. Like it's a circle, it's a line, it's a, a curve, whatsoever. But if it is a multivariate and it is a two dimension multivariate, then it is a surface. Okay, now uh, surface means it, it has a, a x and y. And with, sorry, with a, each x and y we have z. So it is a surface. Now, can we find a gradient at any point on the surface? A gradient is nothing but differentiation at that point. So, if I have f x y, then how I can calculate a gradient uh, at any point a b or any point x y? So that is like f x y. We have to differentiate by x comma f x y we have to differentiate with y. So, fx, fx, xy and fy, 
x y these two are the value of the uh, gradient and that would be the direction so what would be the direction of the gradient uh, for the multivariate is the kind of uh, is the line which has the maximum slope I mean, this is the kind of uh, extension of singular calculus to a uh, multivariate calculus that we are seeing now singular to multivariate okay so now gradient okay so gradient also move to multivariate and each component of the of the multivariate like here it is x and y we differentiated individually and whatever point we receive if i draw from the origin so means vector has actually there is no a kind of a point as it's a direction but this is what it is and we draw from the origin then we get the direction so that is the direct direction of gradient nice means i have a multivariate equation then differentiating with each independent variable we get the we get the gradient okay but multivariate can we think as different vectors if x and y are two variables then i direction and z direction there are two vectors now can we extend we extended singular to multivariate of a vector can we extend this to multiple vector like dot product scalar product so can we calculate gradient of dot product so uh, we can think like uh, if i have a two vector u and v then gradient of u in the direction of v or if i have fx y and u then gradient of, of fx in the direction of u so that is dot product so dot product is nothing but it's a another function with respect to a two vectors if i want a dot product of two vector u and v then f u and v so can we see the resemblance means singular to multivariate multivariate first we start with different individual variable independent variable then we move to a uh, vectors three vectors now we club all together and then we are moving to professional vectors so the if i talk about the dot product of u and v for example and if we want a kind of uh, a gradient okay since it's a kind of a linear multiplication it will come to if i uh, don't think about the cos theta then u v u dot v uh, with the a uh, dot product with the if uh, i try to kind of uh, find the gradient then u keep u outside and gradient of v and then v plus keep v outside and gradient of v that is multiplication so multiplication of u and gradient of v plus v and gradient of u so this is the net gradient what we give get for the for the dot product what about gradient of dot product which along a particular axis like if i have a two variable two vectors u and v then f u v gradient of f u v in the variation of v so in that sense one of the derivative what we talked about u and then gradient of v multiplication plus v and gradient of u one will become zero because we are not interested in that so it will lead to u miss i am not uh, trying to find uh, the kind of a gradient uh, of something but this is the how uh, we mean the disclosure we are filing on the k means where we are talking about the cosine distance so there we are trying to prove what we are thinking and when it is equilibrium dist equilibrium distance then calculation of the mean is different and when it is cosine distance the calculation of mean is different but since when the person who wrote the calculus he never thought that he is multivariate would lead to multi uh, multi vectors and then multi vector would lead to uh, multiple uh, features and then multiple feature would lead to kind of a document and and then it's me so how we start from the singular to multivariate to kind of so like this so this is also called a partial derivative so if i talk about the multivariate 
and like i said that uh, the uh, the derivative or the uh, kind of uh, we are trying to find uh, the the uh, the multivari the uh, derivation of uh, uh, gr gradient i'm sorry so gradient gradient of a function uh, that is has independent variable u and v or two vector u and v and then if i try to find the complete gradient it's fine or if i try to find the gr uh, the gradient or uh, with respect to only one axis like v it is called partial derivation so partial derivation of any function if it has multivariate variable or it has vector same thing we extend to vector with respect to variation of one particular vector then it would lead to partial derivation means so many terms so how we kind of uh, correlate each other and how uh, the way simple it is a singular calculus same way it would be simpler in the machine learning when we match with the multiple features and then a uh, uh, mean and then document vectors and so many thing multiple component and so how simple it would be like uh, i repeatedly say that uh, very complex things are very simple when we think step by step so we'll go from a singular calculus to multivariate to partial derivation okay and then slowly uh, move in uh, move to uh, uh, machine learning so that is